It's lovely to welcome Pete and Al, the d boys, once more. <laughs> <laughs> How are you both? Good. Um, yeah. Oh, Happy to be up gigging again because it's uh, it beats sitting around the house uh, cowering against a virus. Yes. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, no, it's lovely to be back out there, get on a big <laughs> stage, perform to the masses. <laughs> What's you know, going on with the um, the facial hair, boys? We've got these we're, lovely we're, dashing. We've got lamb a competition. Chops, bit of a tash. We've got a competition. I've, I've actually shaved yesterday. I've, I've I was I, I've gone full lemmy uh, and, and beyond actually but uh so i decided just to wipe her up yesterday and uh and, and shave so he got a bit of a shock when he saw me so, uh, <laughs> I think I did the first one with and then the second one without yeah well, I've, I've, I've been i've been i've facial cheese i've had it for years and years it just i have i did go quite sort of freddie mercury <laughs> for a while and um and that's where i think i'm going back to i don't know i'm mm. toyed with taking it all off but I did it about a few years ago, and I, I was quite scared looking in the mirror. And I think my daughter was as well. I'm my partner. In fact, she almost left me. <laughs> and Pete, you're very hairy as well. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who who would have that? thought, eh? <laughs> no, I, when I moved to Ireland, I, I just um, I thought I'd blend in at the local farmer's market. So I just went full full Mr. Tumnus, you know, the whole Tumnus. Lovely. Yeah. Very dashing, chaps, very dashing. Now, last time we spoke, you had released the very catchy Many Hands. And now you've got a new single set for release next month. Although you can get it on Bandcamp now, can't you? Yes, if you want to get it ahead of the game. So this is um, a very catchy tune, Pedestal. Tell me all about it. Go on, Pedro. <laughs> it's, um, <clears throat> I know that the sleeve looks like, a, it's sort of like some sort of justice, but it's when, it's that thing when you idolise someone, but they turn out to be not what you think they are. And um, you feel like a bit of a, not just a fool, but you're quite confused by it all. So having been through that mangle, well, more than once in my life, um, yeah, I just, I just, it just came to me one day, and I, I thought, um, part of it's sort of fictional insofar as um, the bit where he's just sitting with his head in his hands and he can't figure out, well, he just can't believe it that it's happening, you know, that it happened having believed in someone or idolized them. When you idolize someone, you put them up on a pedestal. So, um, yeah. But I've often thought as well, it's got. <laughs> Saying this, I keep thinking of a good year with Russell Crowe, and um, it's one of my favorite movies. And I just think, um, the video, if we could have afforded it, would have been us, um, you know, de Chavot making our way to a gig or something in the south of France through the you know, the sunflower fields and and that kind of vibes. It's got this sort of golden thing about it, but we're going to go down the classy black and white route, according to our video director. So that's that's the way we're going to go with it for now. Sounds good to I'm me. Disappoint- I was disappointed when I told Peter recently because when he first mentioned the song, uh, My Put You in a Pedestal, I thought it was about me. <laughs> Just because it had Al in the peda is. Yeah. is- oh, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> no, no. I, I didn't go there. For me. Every time you hear the no, no. word Al, you think it's always about you. It's, it's always about you. Disappointed. Many times have I told you it's not always about you, it's only sometimes about you. <laughs> did you come up with a catchy hook then? I did. I just, I was sort of working on this. I had this mad melody that was just going. Da, 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 da. That kept, I kept waking up to that. And I was going. Da, 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 da. And that, that, I think that might be something from way back in the fifties, but I kept hearing, um, um, what's it called? Uh, a, uh, not a sitar, but um, you know, it's that sort of spy music sound. And then I was looking for something that would break the kind of verse up, and I just put my hand up. And when I was looking on uh, things going better, it was the same sort of moment. I just wanted something that would just would just punch out, and because I go from minor keys to major keys, and put that contrast in, and yeah, it just came. It was actually in in the first or second lockdown. I can't remember which, but I was sort of like everyone. I was thinking, is this it? Is this Armageddon? You know, are we? <laughs> is it nuclear war next? And uh, so I just thought, you know, I'm just going to do what I do. And, and I'm really focused and concentrated. And then I was sending these ideas nearly daily, I think, to Al. And he's going, that, that's all right. That's not so good. And we we worked it out from there. So You are a great team, aren't you? What's the magic, do you think? <laughs> is it the facial hair? Brown. What is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it, apparently, if we cut our facial hair, we'll have nothing left. As in, 
you know, like uh, Delilah. <laughs> the creativity will I'm leave you. It's in here. <laughs> it's all there. It's all, it's all there. Darling. <laughs> For some chins, it's quite good when you're away from each other. And as much as it can be quite hurtful, if I turn to Pete and say, now that's rubbish, mate. I don't like mm. it. It's not, mm. you know, it's not always, you know, sometimes it's good to have that. And it gives you that chance to think, oh, wait a minute. Because obviously you can't like everything each other likes, you know, every, you know, like it's like I've taste of music, you know, mm. there's going to be loads of stuff I like. So I think it's good to get, and then you can say, oh, look, maybe do this. And Pete can have a think about it. And then sometimes, and sometimes it just works, you know, that's, that's and that's the beauty. You can't like, if you liked everything the same, it might turn out to be really quite. Well, no, but you would, I think what happens in the tension between two different flavors, and that's when you get the the, the relationship. So that's, that's what the excuse me, sound like Joe Biden here. That's when you get the um the the magic happen. I think it's to do with the tensions within bands that you get the good stuff. You know, if everyone's on the same page, it's just really dull. Um, sure. But you know, something about when we work together, we just listen to each other. We and um, if with something doesn't work, we'll give it a try. And see if we can come around and making it work and we can go off and explore stuff. Or sometimes we can just take a break from each other and Alan just stays in there and does his thing for a few hours or I'll do that. And we come back to it. But we're not we're not like those bands. Remember hearing these horror stories about Fleetwood Mac couldn't be in the same studio together or um, yeah, what called um, massive attack. They have to yeah. leave things the other day. You know, we're not. Yeah, well, loads of bands that. like have big well, blow ups or they secretly hate each other and that kind of thing. There, there are occasions we can't be in the same studio together, but it's normally after we're eating a curry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you see, and it's the humour between the two of you as well. Like you just get on so <laughs> well, don't you? What and you've known each other for years, you know, and the band's been going for well, years. We got all our we got all our tensions out, you know, at the, the start and worked all this stuff, and then we can back to it we were like we we're so much more mature and knew what we were dealing with so it's just yeah. it's just it, it well there's an effortlessness to it but it also yeah we, we do work at it as well you know sure, we put 16 hour days until we get to get it happening but i'm afraid my days of staying up past midnight are well gone alan's still on the, the midnight oil i'll be up at the crack of uh i'd call it here you know, the crack of jesus sorry if i haven't found <laughs> anyone over there but pretty much as early as it gets and alan is on the late shift so we, we kind of I'm, I'm normally i'm um, going to bed when peter's getting up <laughs> yeah. Late night rock and roll for you then. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the song... Weekends only. Weekends only. Man. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Ah, now tell us about this weekend. Then. So you're out gigging at Hastings. Yes, we have. Well, we're we're doing a Hastings Pier. There's um a few acts. Few of our acts we we quite like actually. Alison Limerick, Fats and Small. Um, we're big fans of his Baby D. Um, Stonic. I actually oh, like yeah. the guy. Oh, the one and only. The one and only. Ah, Chesa. Chesa. Love Chesa. Chesa. Are you are your first name terms with him? Are you Chesa? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you say hello when you see him. So everyone, <laughs> everyone claims they're on first name terms with Chesney Hawks, but it's just not. Yeah. So they're all making it up. <laughs> so we're, we're doing that. And then we're, then we're, I'm hosting a little after party for us in Hastings as well Ooh. afterwards. So it should be quite good fun. Um, Pete might actually stay up quite late that night. Yeah, yeah I'll have a few coffees. <laughs> <laughs> get that caffeine down you and have a nice I'll line. Push the you? I'm having a double espresso. Let's see how we get on. <laughs> that, that sounds all good stuff then. And have you got some more great gigs coming up as well? Well, we've got gigs. Whether they're great or not, it's a different matter. That's of course Peter. it will be. That's, you know, it's the magic yeah. you put into it, isn't we, it? We've got a couple. We've got uh, Maidstone. We, we made, oh, no, we've got co next weekend we're in Coventry for the Pride to a Pride event, which has got quite a decent little lineup as well. Yeah. And then September we're doing a, another 90s sort of festival thing. It's got loads of real rave acts. Is that Chel Cheltenham? Maidstone. Ah, uh, yes, the Park yeah. Moat. That's the one yeah. you know more than yeah. we do. Thanks Saturday the 17th of September, you there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's right. And we're, we're shooting a video the next day, so we've got to keep ourselves together that night. And then yeah. and then we've got a couple little things and stuff, just like, things are just coming in now. So hopefully there'll be a few more before the end of the year. And then next year we'll hopefully be doing a hell of a lot. You know, I've got to get Peter in shape. Haven't we? We've both got to get in shape for these gigs. Is that what you know, you've got to get in shape? I've never been in shape, so I don't know what people keep going on about getting back in shape. It's just like, <laughs> like what in the ridiculous shape? Which shape would you like me to be in? Okay, and, and, and you need to be pop star ready, mate. Pop okay. star ready. Okay. Can you do that? 
<laughs> you do that for me. They can do wonders with, um, you know, 3D projections and animations. Like ABBA. Day, we'll do like ABBA. Will we do that? We'll do like a, a, a virtual gig. Yeah, yeah, get a virtual that. Pete there, and then you can just stay at home. Yeah. I love this, this idea. I can sing at home, but you can move around the stage. This is going to no, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my back. It's all getting very silly now. <laughs> it's no more than I'd expect from you two, though. <laughs> so I think what we should do is we should have a listen to Pedestal now. What do you reckon? Absolutely. Oh, yes, please. Let's listen. And Pete, you start us off. Da 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 You mean you want me to do the sheep bit? I want you to do it. Come on. Okay, you want. <laughs> Loving that. <laughs> We're going to be using that as a sting. I'm going to have that at the beginning before we go into it. Um, guys, thank you so much. As ever, it's really great to speak to you both. You're wonderful human beings. So warm, oh. so full of jollity frivolity all of those things <laughs> and um, yeah Re- ready Jack, ready Al do your thing <laughs> <laughs> oh. um Brilliant. yeah have it yeah good luck with the single and Thank that is so out much. next month but we can find it now on Bandcamp Band. download yeah. it now <laughs> thank you boys thank, thank you so much. very much for having us thank again, you again.